So uh, I have a bachelor's in physics, so I tend to see everything through the lens of physical science. And it's also just easier for me to see things that way. Um, there, there was once upon a time when scientists saw magnetism and they saw electricity. They thought they were two totally different things. And as they continued to ask questions and analyze, they realized that electricity and magnetism, they're really part of the same theory. And then this amazing dream came about. The idea, if we could find a theory to unite all of the forces in the universe. We're not there yet, this hasn't happened, this is still a dream. But it's, it's a dream that they think might happen. And so my passion isn't exactly science, it's really more my hobby, my passion is actually kids. Um, I run a daycare out of my house because I couldn't stomach what was happening in schools anymore. Um, and when I see people every day interacting with each other, the way most people interact with each other, it hurts me. Um, sorry, it's like weird to talk about this. <laughs> so I always wonder, like, why do we do this? Like, okay, yeah, that person cut me off while I was driving, and all of a sudden, I have decided that that person is the worst person that has ever existed on this entire planet, and I should probably murder them. <laughs> and, and I felt that same way. I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm above that. Um, but, like, this is the way we treat each other, and I don't understand why. So I, I did what I do. I started researching. I started reading. I started absorbing every single thing I possibly could about humans and why people think we do the things that we do. And I found a lot of things that sounded really great in the beginning, you know, like electricity and magnetism are totally separate things, and then really that wasn't quite it. And started to get on this path of simplicity and minimalism, and it's really helped me refine what I'm searching for. Um, and one of the most uh, moving books for me that has very recently helped me kind of find this unified theory of why we do what we do and what has caused us to become where we are today, where we're people that are destroying our environment, essentially, and very willfully and without much care, um, destroying each other's relationships, willfully and without care. Like, <coughs> what brought us here? Um, it's a book called uh, Unconditional Parenting. And if I could force everyone to read this book, even if you never interact with children, I would force them to do it. But the, the main premise is we take this child and we tell them how to live their life. Why? Well, because I know better. Because I'm the adult. Because I am the strong, powerful one. And this, this, this um, parent versus child power construct is artificial, as anyone who has ever had a teenager knows. <laughs> when they're two, yes, you control everything. But when they're 14, it completely changes, and you're fired as a parent, and you no longer have control over their life. So what this book gets at is a different way to interact with children to help them to grow up, to be who you actually want them to be. Loving, caring, compassionate, self-assured people. And that's what we want everyone out there to be. Yet when we interact with young children, we don't do that. <laughs> so I think that's probably the ding that I have to stop. But the, the point that I was just trying to say is like, we know what we want, we know what the goal is. It's just really hard to do that from the inception of tiny people. And I guess this is my podium to try and say, hey, please be nice to tiny people. <laughs> 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 well,